Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Nasa. And this is Go Go Ladies, a podcast about navigating life, love, and so much more from a 40 plus perspective. What? Well, all right. Shoo do 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 do. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Nasa knew what to do. Having a party. That's Luther. It is Luther. Hello. Mm-mm-mm. Hey y'all. We miss him so. We t- <laughs> R.I.P. Luther. I was listening to him on the way over here, which is why that song's in my head. That song came on. Yes. <laughs> and it was in the house party. I love Lufa. <laughs> Lufa. Lufa. I do. His middle, what is his middle name? Ronzoni. No, that's a black name. That's what I'm talking about. I love Luther. You know who I need to see because who? I know. Like, oh, first we of all, start first give hey, honor everybody. to God who's the head of my life. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> we just start talking. Like, hey, you know what I? No. Okay. Hey, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, Ooh. and share mm. so you can stay engaged with this amazing content and be part of the conversation. So mm-hmm. now, back to Luther. And Perry's already kicking my ass. I go see. Ahead. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Luther's a concert that I wish I had gotten to go to. Dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. And there are other concerts that I'm like, I really want to go mm-hmm. to just not check them off my list, but kind of check them off my list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Brenda Russell. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That's a throwback. Oh. I see her. Rochelle Farrell. You know, she's Nothing sick. She's not doing that great. I've so, heard. yeah. Um, but there's some other ones I'm just like, ah, these are places, you know, mm-hmm. you take for granted they're going to be here forever. You do. And they're not. You saw Sade. I did. It was so good. And I was so mad because it wasn't sold out. It was at Bridgestone here. And I'm like, what are these empty seats? I was in the house, though. You were in the house? I was I, in the house. I don't know if she'll ever do it again, but it, like, mm. it was good. I miss John Baptiste when he was here. Yeah, you did. So, um, I saw, and even just outside of your typical genres, R&B, whatever, urban. Right, right. I, I saw Rolling Stones. You did. That, for me, was like a, they're just that group. Like, it, it you know, crosses generations, genres, because obviously. Of course. They came up under blues. Right. And, you know, the originators of rock and roll and all of that. So. That I was in a nosebleed with Rachel, who just had a birthday. Hey, hey, <laughs> for that. But it was a cool experience, and I just—it was one of those I just said yes to. It wasn't like I'm a huge fan, but I'm right. like I feel like I should go she see goes, them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get to this a little bit later. Okay. But I was at the airport. Mm-hmm. I was at a Margaritaville in the airport. Oh my God. Oh. And so I was like, oh, Jimmy Buffett. I was trying to play to my daughters, mm-hmm. like, hey, mm-hmm. their concerts. I, was like, I can't even name a music song for them. Right. I said, but. Their fans are iconic. Yes. And I said, I would like to just go once to hang out. Yeah. And um, one of them said, well, I think the guy's dead. I said, oh, he did. (laughs) Yeah, he went on a glory. He he passed. I missed it. So, Rest his soul. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that happens. Yeah, it does. People just. It does. Are no longer available. Right, right. You You saw Prince, right? And see, that's one I really wish. I wish I had seen Prince in concert. Prince. Yeah. I saw Prince. You did. And the show opened <sighs> with Alicia Keys's um, a video of her speaking about his tribute, mm-hmm. the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. and how she described him. Mm-hmm. She described him like a lover. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And now, I'm not saying that they ever had anything right, going right, on. Right. But the way she described him, yeah. she described him like a lover. Wow. And I was just like, Mm-hmm. I know, girl. <laughs> we feel the same feel way. The same. <laughs> yes, there will never be. Yeah, another one. Like Mm-mm. there just isn't another one. Like yeah, there are other people who try, mm-hmm. and I think they take some. Like Miguel takes some of his, you know, yes. liberties, yeah. and yeah. even Bruno Mars, like, a little bit of the liberties mm-hmm. of Prince. Mm-hmm. You know, being some short in stature and a little bit more flamboyant, but Prince, yeah. It was like the Prince, bottle. It was Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. Ugh. I wish. That's one. I'm like, I wish yeah. I was around for that. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't. No. 
I saw it. You did. So I always go see Janet. Janet coming, I'm gonna go see Janet. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> I'm so hot at the Usher and Janet and Essence line up this year. Oh, oh. Because yeah. Usher's doing a night. Yeah. Janet's doing a night. Yeah. I can see taking the bangers there too. I was like, I can get everybody in this thing, but we got convention. Yeah, we do. And so we're not gonna make it. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. And they, they have to line up late too, though. So true. But I was just like, are you serious? You know, I feel I have the same sentiment though a lot of for a lot of hip hop artists. As you know, I love rap. Yeah, y'all know that. But me and you need to talk because <laughs> like Big Daddy Kane is coming here, Ducky Fresh. Spinderella, I forget who else is on the bill, but I'm like, we should probably go to that. Is that the one at Municipal? No, it's at Ascend. Okay, because the one at Municipal that's coming too. Yeah, and a lot of the good, house party, but it's Municipal. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, all right, we just leave that there. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but there are some events around it, yeah, like in other venues I've seen. Okay, so yeah, but there are some people I just I'm like, man, I just want to see. That was me with Jay Z, you know that. Yeah. Every time Jay Z comes, I'm going to see Jigga. <laughs> so there's a concert that just got canceled, and I was upset about it. It's the J Lo concert. Her tour got canceled yesterday. Let me just drink. You, I can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, because she's hard. People sick. know that was the quote. That when I am a fan, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh Lord! Unless you do something illegal or immoral. I'm a fan, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So, hmm. I like J-Lo. Mm-hmm. And I liked the little movie she put out and the behind the scenes movie she put out. And I would have been happy to go to the concert. However, comma, the mm. tour has now been canceled. Because it's going to be a show. It is, it is. Something, look, people go see the little uh, Taylor and they're going to go see Taylor Swift now. Taylor. They, they're going to go see Miley. You ain't going for vocals. You're going for production and the story, right? The right. Songwriting. Yes, yes. You know? Ain't yes. Like, ain't nobody talking about, I want to hear that Taylor Swift ballad. And <laughs> 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 nobody said that. That I understand. I get it. So I feel like throwing J-Lo out, like, oh, she's not a singer. I love Janet Jackson. Entertainer. Entertainer. She's fall, they fall under entertainer. Exactly. Yes. You get the whole thing. I would even say Rihanna. Right. Up until recently, you know, she got yeah. lessons later on. Yes. But, you know, Steve Mack can be doing work. <laughs> but, yes. but she's an entertainer. Yes. Icon, mogul. Yes. No shade. We like the fancy. Right. No shade. <laughs> right. But right. Until she did Love on the Brain, we was yeah. like, yeah. can she really, Not really? really a vocalist. Umbrella, umbrella. But are we really? A, A. Right. And only the Navy to come for me. But <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Let's call it what it is. Yes. So I, for that reason, is why J-Lo. I like J-Lo. I, I'm, I, I like a dance. She's mm-hmm. going to dance her butt off. She's going to dance. Exactly. And I'm going to be there She's for gonna it. She's going to put on a show. And put on a show. And I would have been there for it. Talking about dun, 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 dun. getting it. Because I <laughs> think that's just a good time. <laughs> well, she had canceled her show here. Not she that did. we can't travel. But she canceled that and then she canceled the a while ago. Yesterday. And then yesterday, yeah, I saw that announcement. And I was like, oh. Right. You poor said, tink. oh, you're old fake as hell. Huh, oh. Poor Tink. I hope it's nothing bad. I will say that. I don't wish ill on people. I mean, you know. You Here's my your, thing about it, yeah. too. And this is not just for J-Lo, but yeah. for me, this really resonates with J-Lo. Mm-hmm. I don't know her personally. Right. She might be a horrible, awful human being. I, d- I really don't mm-hmm. know her personally. Mm-hmm. Um, but I kind of feel like T-Pain in this and J-Lo and, you know, like they have these huge careers. Right. And then for some reason, the culture shifts mm-hmm. and they become pariah. Hmm. And then we've seen in T-Pain is now shifting back. Right. And everybody's, oh, T-Pain is doing, you know, and he is also reinventing himself a little bit. Like yeah, yeah, he's yeah. singing and doing yeah. all the other things without the auto-tune. Yeah. Um, but people were hating on auto-tune for a second. Well, that's true. And then he, like, they did the whole medley during the Soul Train Awards, like, I got hits. Y'all was bopping to him. He does, exactly. And when you heard them all, you are like, this nigga does got he the does hits. He does have hits, yeah. All right. And Excuse so me. then, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know, yes. he's able to reinvent himself again. So I'm just like, I don't understand what it is in us mm-hmm. as consumers of media or as, as an audience yeah. that makes you want to build somebody up Mm. just to bash them later on mm-hmm. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what's kind of going on with J-Lo. Like, okay. we was all Jenny from the block, and, mm-hmm. you know, and then it was like, oh, well, no, she can't sing. Well, you knew that from that Yeah, you did know that. But we're right. still rocking with the stuff, yes. you know? Yeah. So. I got you. Yeah. I don't dislike J-Lo. I just, I wouldn't pay to see her concert. That's just where I am. Yeah, I understand. I would but have. not a fan of hers like that. Not like that. Right. I would go for free. Yeah. Like, if you got some tickets, yeah, sure, I will go because I do understand showmanship and, you know, entertainment and right. performance. I get that. So, yeah. But other than that, like, I'll, you know, and I have watched her stuff, but I do tend to listen to, like, her older stuff. I haven't really listened to her new stuff. I've even yeah. sung it at karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> so no yeah i do i totally get what you're saying though. so for be clear for me it's not like a i'm not bashing no, j-lo no no but um i'm I, you know i just see all that you know backlash all over the and like that. it's cyclical right yeah and i get you know you do age out of stuff some things you don't rock with anymore yeah, yeah, whatever yeah i felt that way about mariah carey now mm-hmm. she got a vocal she got a vocal and yeah. got the hits and the she awards does. to show for yeah it. i'm yeah. not knocking mariah at all right I felt that for me, mm-hmm. Mariah did not evolve. Mm-hmm. Um, like Mary J. Mary J. We all evolved with yeah. Mary J. Yeah. She went from around the way girl to rich auntie. True. Mariah with them denim shorts and that tank top a long time. And I was just like, we ain't going to evolve at all. Like, you don't get no bob or nothing. You know, I'm not, she, I mean, really, like, it's, I like it's the same. She said it's what the she same. said. But she's like, this Christmas album going to bop. Y'all going to play it the day after Thanksgiving every year. Hello. And make this money. Hello. So Money on top of money. On top no. of it. So. Exactly. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I got you. That was not on your list. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We wish Jayla well. well. <laughs> um, I hope everything works out for you. They got a whole list. And I just told him, was like, what about Jayla? <laughs> I can't wait to see you in concert when mm-hmm. you decide to come back to the people. Okay. It's perfect, though, because music. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. By the time you all will be seeing this, it's, it's a new month. It is June. It's my baby's birthday month. There you go. We well, start with that. Yes. yes. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> So we have a birthday. Yes. We have Juneteenth. Woo woo. Which is on a Wednesday. But it there is. are events happening around it and Correct. on the day. Of. Correct. Um, it's also Black Music Month. Yep. Which I told you all last year, if you don't follow Music Sermon, um, the account by Naima Cochran, who's like a music journalist. I think she teaches at NYU too. She does prompts every single day, and it is so much fun to play along with, especially with everything going on in the world. Like, it makes you nostalgic for things, just mu- different prompts dealing with black music. We should answer it every day. I'm down. We should. I have to get, I get my answers to get. Okay, yes. And it was like, name a song for this. Or name, and I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. So anyways, and you can see the prompts ahead of time. So. That way, we're yeah. going to obviously engage in the conversation, but you guys can play along too yes. and give Naima her shine because yeah, she's yeah. the job. It's fun. Yeah. And then we have Pride Month. Boom, boom, boom. There you Billy go. Porter coming to town. Ugh. Oh, you're going to go see Billy it? Porter coming to town. I've been invited to the Pride Extravaganza this year. Hey. And so I am thinking about. Happy Gay Month, y'all. I know. <laughs> I. You should go. I but want to go. It's outside, right? It's outside. Okay. It's fine with me. Right. Um, you like heat. I like heat. Damn. What? But, however, comma, however, comma, I don't want to live a life fearful. Okay. However, Mm -hmm. in the world that we live in, sometimes I do get pause Mm -hmm. about certain situations that are very diverse Mm -hmm. because some of these folks is really crazy. That's true. Um, And the climate of the country right now, Mm -hmm. like... Yeah, keep your head on a swivel. Like, I want to have a good time. I want right, to be free right, and all those right. good things. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, and let, let's be honest. Both be crazy anywhere. It, it, we've had, any we've and had everywhere. a family friend who was murdered at Kroger. Yeah. So, I, I get the fact that, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. evil lurks on every corner. You yeah. always be vigilant. Yeah. But, um, it sometimes made me nervous, you know, mm-hmm. about stuff like that. And so, okay. but... Yeah, I do plan. I'm. Gonna, I think I'm gonna go see Billy. Oh, yeah, I've been invited because I'm an ally. 
Touche. Yes. Now, somebody did tell me, if you call yourself an ally, you probably aren't one. I was like, oh. Yeah, you just, you <laughs> just <laughs> are. You just <laughs> be okay. one, you know. <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> right. I have one black friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, but no, you yeah, know. we know. So I'm oh, well, going good. to well, have fun. Yes, I, I should let you have my fan. I got a big fan. I'm gonna have That's my little somebody fan. gave me for my pride. Where you? I know. I'm not good the flap. I'm not either. You have to practice. <laughs> Mine is great at it. But of I'm like, course, flap, flap, flap. I'm like, I can't do that. I can't do it either. Mm-mm. I was okay. It's gonna be fun. But yes, it's so. a lot going on in the month of June. I gotta figure out my outfit. It's gonna be hot. Nasa loves the heat. We all know about that. And I got shorts too. Uh, Booty short. Uh, 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 so. your, your cheeks gonna be all nice. No, I ain't that short. They They're age short. appropriate short. So I tried on all my shorts mm-hmm. before I went on a trip, right? Yes. So I tried on these shorts and I was like, I don't know how I feel about these. It's a little, it's a little risque. <laughs> my daughter said, them shorts long. I was like, for real? She's like, now I do got something to come down to my knees, some culottes. <laughs> what? I do. Goodbye. I got some. Yes. I got I'm some, not I play do. softball yeah. and, and wear belts and some keys right here. Got some them shorts. Good. You know them, okay. I do know them shorts. And so, but she was like, don't wear those. Those can't come oh. on the trip. I was like, okay. So, but I have some other ones that are mm. shorter. And I'm like, I think these are a little short. She was like, mama, mm. ain't nothing short about them shorts. I said, like, you sure? Because I feel like, I, it to I feel a kids. breeze on my thigh. <laughs> your kids are humble, you quick. Right. Mm-hmm. I just knew I was getting it. <laughs> them shorts ain't getting it. <laughs> they said no. They said these ain't even They're fast, not as short. Girl. I was like, these ain't fast. I thought these fast. Don't be a fast. <laughs> right. Mm-mm. There was a no. <laughs> I want to hear more about this trip. We have our life recap. I know. It's it, part is of it our now? agenda. It's now because okay. we get we okay. went over. It's a new month. All the things happening. Obviously, face in charge of this rundown because I'm, I'm in charge. <laughs> kind of the girls. In charge of the girls. You went on a trip. I did. Okay. So I went to Mexico. She left the country, y'all. <laughs> I. <laughs> Lisa, yes, took a vacation. Oh, Jesus, mm. and did not open my computer. Oh, glory! The entire time Ooh, I was on vacation, the church. I did edit man. a video and send it to her, <laughs> but I did it from a cabana. She, <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Thank yeah. you, thank you. So, mm-hmm. um, no, mm-hmm. shout out to Tanisha Murph who booked the travel for us, yeah. um, couch to continent, um, we'll tag her somewhere. But um, she was great. I literally called her and mm-hmm. was like, I need a vacation. Yes. And I want to go with her son mm-hmm. in a beach. And here's my price range. Yeah. And I want all inclusive because I don't want to think. Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't want to think about yeah. anything. Yeah. People are like, oh, you go to excursions? I did not. <laughs> did you leave the resort? I did not. Did you do? I did not. Right. I laid in the yeah. cabana. I laid next to the pool. I got in the pool. Mm-hmm. I got onto the sand. Mm-hmm. I did that in rotation for, I painted a coconut. I, did you d- I saw that. Painted a coconut. Yes. Uh, we went to, saw a mariachi concert mm-hmm. and um, some local dancers. And I, I sat there. And it was, it was great. I'm proud of you. It was great. The I'm resort so we went to um, was nice. Um, mm-hmm. I will say... Most resorts we do all inclusive. The food is yeah. a little blander because yeah. it's yeah. got a, you know a multitude of palates mm-hmm. you have to adhere to. Mm-hmm. So you know I didn't like oh it was delicious and I ate right. it. You right. know, but it was it was cool. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't starve. Right. You know, I was, and you didn't get sick. I didn't get sick. Okay. So we was in there chilling and just had a, a really great time, restful time. Yes. My oldest said, I feel like my I turned my brain off. It's not like moving all the time. Mm-hmm. She took a nap every day. Yay. Baby girl. Um, <laughs> we found out she's a mermaid. Like, she loves the water. Uh-huh. So, okay. In our household, I have a husband who's from, had a husband who's from L.A. Mm-hmm. So, and he can swim. I'm not saying everybody from L.A. can swim, but, you know, there's water right there. He can swim. And then you have me mm. who... Can get in the water mm, mm, mm. and do a little something, but really ain't, ain't yeah, swimming. Yeah. Then we have the oldest mm-hmm. who can't swim mm, mm, at all. Like, she's afraid on water rides. Mm, yeah. Like, for real. Okay. She has a, this whole water phobia thing. It's really bad. Yeah. Um, But <laughs> she, she's, she's one of the big pieces of the Lord. She's like, I know if it's over water, it is what it is. <laughs> like, so... <laughs> Well, amen. Yeah, you know, you know your strength amen and weaknesses. Amen to that. Yes, baby girls always says she can swim. Mm. 
And was like, you really can't swim. <laughs> Baby girl was swimming, though. Yeah. And I'm like, I think she's going to take actual lessons now. Good. Because she's motivated to take those lessons because she's like, I really like this. Yeah. And then we've been trying to find this child a sport forever. Oh, yes. Yes, you have. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yep. Mm-hmm. I was there for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, yes. <laughs> Ah, yes. She more art to craft than the She sport, is. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah. More theater yeah, than she the is. sport. Uh-huh. But I think she might have found her thing. Her phys- You know, and everybody's yeah. found a physical thing. Right, you right, know? right. And I think she found it. So. Oh, so good. I know. Mm. One thing I'm super proud of. Yeah. I did not come back from the vacation with a list. Mm. So normally I will sit down like, okay, you know, you have this time away. Right. You're supposed to come back with this whole new life plan and reevaluate some things. And while I was very grateful in the moment mm-hmm. and very thoughtful about those things, I didn't come back with a huge to-do list. Good. For me, mm. I have ideas in my head of things I want to do better. And we'll get to yeah. some of those here in a little bit. Yeah. But... I don't want to pick a checkoff list right mm. now for that, you know? Oof. I felt that. I just want to do better. Yeah. And it's not saying I'm not having good goals, but having checkoff lists, I'm much more a planner than I am with execution. Okay. And in this season, mm-hmm. I need to be executing mm-hmm. in some shape, form, or fashion okay. every day. Okay. And so I have made all the lists in the world. You have lots of lists. Yeah. Now it's time to actually just work i like it so i'm glad you were able to just be i was able to just because i you had that is hard for you it is i'm and you got a little color too you got a little tint <sighs> okay she does, i'm t- hyping her up you do got just a little tint. y'all okay tell the story tell the people <laughs> single mm-hmm. me out to, Tight shot. to the production team that i don't have yeah it's um coming. but <laughs> yeah i'm in mexico mm-hmm. it's 90 plus degrees in mexico Mm. Ain't no rain. Not mm-hmm. a cloud in the sky. Mm-hmm. I don't put on sunscreen because I'm trying to get burned. Cause I'm yeah. getting burned before I don't want yeah. to be burnt. Yep. Yeah. So, child number one spends five minutes in mm-hmm. the sun per side. Reapply sunscreen like uh, Australian. Like mm-hmm. she's mm-hmm. serious about yeah. it. You know? Yeah, lathers up. Does not want to get skin cancer. Doesn't want to get burnt. She's been burnt once in her life. They won't do it again. Mm-hmm. Like all these things, mm-hmm. right? She's in the shade. Mm hmm. She comes back, dark as hell. I was like, okay, okay. Baby girl, who technically is the lightest of us all. Yeah. In the water all day. She put on sunscreen, kind of a little bit, for mm-hmm, reminder, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm. Um, don't reapply, but she in the water all day. Mm. In the sun all day. Mm. She in the pool at night. <laughs> we didn't realize you know, we'd be in the pool at night. You're not. So we had a swim out suite. We didn't really want to be in the pool at night until the last day. And it's mm-hmm. like, oh, this sign is about to be in the pool at this, this time up here. <laughs> and she been in the pool every night. <laughs> she come back. Dark. Oh, gosh. The darker. You, you know. got a little tent. Me? I'm in the sun. Like like this. Chasing the Chasing sun. Chasing the sun. Yeah. Find me, Get son. Get me, son. You, you, you little brown. It's like the a Lord gave me a dollar of daisy. That's all he gave me is a dollar of daisy. It's like a little graham cracker. I'm graham. just like, where? What? What? Maybe, you know. No, I didn't get those hands. There's, yeah, there's she, no there's no good tan she don't line. Have lines. So normally just if you if, when I tan, <laughs> my boobs get tan. My belly gets tan mm-hmm, first. Mm-hmm. My face is actually last in tan. Mm-hmm. So I expected that. Yeah, you know, I don't yeah. know why my face is always last, but my boobs and my belly yeah, normally go yeah. first. Mm-hmm. This not this time though. Okay. I like the video you sent me. You don't, black people, what's it? We don't tan. We ascend to our, my real self. All right, then. I'm trying to ascend. She is trying to ascend with the sun. <laughs> I will be honest. I, yeah. I love the sun. I love the sun. I love the you, feel, the heat yes, of my body. Yes, you do. That's my thing. Mm-hmm. I, screw a massage. Lay me in the sun mm-hmm. and let the sun just caress me with a breeze. Ooh. I'm in there. Chef's kiss. So tanning beds mm-hmm. in the past i've gone to tanning beds in the past uh, i want a little extra glow for you know an event mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i love it because the fans blow in the heat yeah. all the thing yeah. and you're naked which is even better so i love all that about it naked i don't do that anymore because mm-hmm. obviously with aging you want to keep your right. skin together yes. yeah. moisture mm-hmm. i recognize sun damage all that you yeah. know so yeah. i try not to do that 
But I, I must say, when I got back from Mexico, I was like, I need to go ahead and run by that tent one baby. more time so I can come oh back and flex with my little tan. And then I'm like, you know what? No, let it go. Oh, my God. You either get this tan the natural way or you won't, but let it go. So I'm sorry. I know. I, it's easy for me, too. If I'm just outside long enough, I do get tired. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I do. I'll just get darker. I don't have to do anything special. Just let me be out there long enough. He's like, oh, I'm a little brown. I was missing for days. You were. I know. I'm sorry. I hope you can like, work through this. <laughs> you look at me and you're like, where did you go, Kentucky? <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Not Kentucky. <laughs> but this ain't no Mexico <laughs> tropical. I know. I understand. Tropical tan. We're going to get you. Not you me. It's going to one way or another. Safely. Yes. It's going to happen. Yes. Okay. So. I Shout like out the black girl sunscreen too. Yes, I like them. Yeah, I typically I, like I, was, I had never used them before, but my oldest mm-hmm. did um, because she's like it doesn't leave that cast on mm-hmm. you to make you look ashy, mm-hmm. and so you know, but her super cautious, yeah, you know, but she was all about not looking ashy while she's looking cute, and so I like the ingredients in it too. Yeah, I I did I read like what was it sunscreen? You know, with anything chemicals, yeah. So being careful about like what you use, what you put on your body. Yeah. <laughs> my life recap. I don't know. Perry's kicking my ass, but that's about it. We'll talk about it in another episode. <laughs> She's a funky bitch. I'm going to just say it. It's being face down. She's it's a whoop in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna be all right. Just pray for your girl. You you gotta go through it. Yes. Yeah. It's fine. Everything's fine. Fire behind me. Everything's fine. <laughs> right. It's fine. You sit there uh, talking like, why am I sweating talking to you? <laughs> I got up early. I'm like, my back is wet. Yeah. So yeah, that's where I am. But we said we were gonna talk about goals. So new yes. months. Recap. Yes. Goals. Execution. Come on now your your goals and all that so i think the pandemic has played us really how i think the pandemic played us in two ways okay. one way is positive one way is negative okay i think the pandemic made athleisure our go-to Shout. for everything Whew. which when <sighs> you can talk about my leg <laughs> no i'm gonna say <laughs> i'm gonna say this for me as a yeah. woman who has gotten larger right gain weight mm-hmm um, and you don't always know how to dress that. Mm-hmm. Athleisure has become kind of the comfortable go-to. You're right. Um, because mm-hmm. it don't require no spanks. It don't right. require right. Mm-hmm. you know the underwire. You got mm-hmm. all the things mm-hmm. you got to do. You know, it's just all the things that hold it together. Which undergarments matter. They're mm-hmm. important. Yes. But I appreciate not having to do all that. Mm-hmm. You know, when you have an athleisure. At the same time, though, I think we've forgotten how to get dressed. Mm. And somebody for me, like, I've never been a, I'm always leaning a more casual right, girl, right, you know? Right, yeah. Um, but especially for me now, I'm like, okay, you've, you've gotten way too mm-hmm, casual. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. So one of the goals I set for myself is to put that shit on. Like, I have a closet. Mm-hmm. I got stuff in the closet. Mm-hmm. I, I can't keep buying stuff in the closet and not wearing the wearing stuff. There, yeah. And if I'm not going to wear it, it needs to come out of the closet. True. So mm-hmm. um, that's important to me. I'm also trying to get away from as much fast fashion. I know that's so hard. I don't want a t-shirt for every occasion. Yes. I don't want a theme for every occasion. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, mm. I don't Talk want that. It. So in doing that, I'm like, let me, purchase mm-hmm. less mm-hmm. Qu- quantity but higher quality. quality yeah so that way i can look mm-hmm. together like i just bought some pants from ann taylor they're gonna be here shortly you know ann taylor she's an ann taylor girl I-, I love the ann taylor yes but um, i do mm-hmm. but I'll- i'm going to get these pants and they were more than one to pay for them right however for what i'm trying to do with the look mm-hmm. it it makes sense for me yeah um and have you seen this? You all seen these? What? It's um, wearing versus styling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of them are questionable for me, but go ahead. Right. It ain't <laughs> my style. Right. Okay, that's fair. It ain't my style. That's fair. It's somebody's it's style. It's somebody's style. Not okay, mine. that's fair. But what I'm realizing is 
a lot of times pulling together a look mm -hmm. is the accessories, which Rhea has told me before. She Shout said out it on to the Rhea. show. Yes. yes. Uh, Paper Doll Factory. Mm -hmm. She's the chief style curator over yes, there. Yeah. Um, these earrings right here boom, 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 Voila. are hers. Yeah. Um, but we should ask her for a code too. Oh, yeah, we do. Need yeah. To so give you guys so that yes. way you can have a code. Yeah. But um, it's about accessorizing. Like, I have a ton of, of jewelry from Paper Doll Factory, mm -hmm. but I don't always feel like I put it together mm -hmm. well. But I'm like, it doesn't have to be matchy matchy. It no. can be a statement and it can elevate the look mm -hmm. so i would never wear these long earrings with a t-shirt and jeans but i'm like why not? why not it looks good why not and so you know you have my wheels turning and i'm excited to help you oh well, here we go <laughs> we're Should gonna shop nice i'm closet. not getting rid of my rothies though Wait, then nobody say you have to get rid of your rothies that's fine i like that that's yes. fair though i love athleisure you're right covid yes. very much like oh i don't got bigger but i didn't know because these pants stretch <laughs> Like, yes. and then you try to, oh, we got to go back in the office. Don't nothing fit me. Fit. No mo. I, for me, and I'm not, we all have purchased fast fashion. I have lots of fast fashion in my closet. I don't, and I'm not saying I'm an anomaly, but I really do try to take care of the clothing that I do have. Like, I'm not always buying for an occasion. Um, obviously, I understand it's not sustainable. It's not good for the earth. But right. sometimes for my price point, Come on now. I'm like, this is what I can. I can get all of this, but I do rewear it. I rewear a lot. A lot of stuff I have was not expensive, but again, back to styling, I just know how to kind of put it together and pair it with things. But I, I mean, I, I do have various fast fashion things in my closet. Um, I'm looking yes. on quality though. Like when it comes to certain statement pieces, you know, I'm a huge fan of a white button up shirt. You know, there's just certain things I feel like you should have in your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Good pair of black slacks or navy. Good pair of jeans, which I'm, I'm, I'm. We'll talk about that. I don't own jeans anymore. Part of it is because I'm chunky, but I've gotten to a point where I'm like, I need to buy a good pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. So let me know what's like a really good pair for somebody with a tummy and a big booty. Uh <laughs> No, but for real. So those are like things I'm like, okay, I can spin. But then there's some other pieces I'm like, but that's just because me and I, I, I like to think I know how to style things. I don't have to spend a lot of money on them. But no, yeah, I'm with you there. I'm I've gotten there. over the, I can only be photographed this once. Because you go to an event yes. and it's like you take your photos and yes. then you're like, I can't wear this again because I've been seen. We're not celebrities. I'm not. <laughs> Celebrity. I am not. Where would you have? Exactly. I will remix nice. it. I will change the earring up on it. Mm -hmm. um, there's this formal dress that everybody and mama has. I have it in like two, maybe three colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I for sure have it in two. Yeah. Um, and I will wear that mug again mm -hmm. with earrings that mm -hmm. are different and do a whole different color scape and keep it pushing. Yeah. Like, yeah. My only reason for not wanting to wear it now is because everybody and their mama owns it because mm -hmm. it's a flattering dress mm -hmm. and it's flat on a lot of body types. Yeah. So I noticed that. I'm like, oh, yeah, you yeah. look real cute, but so does everybody else in the same mm -hmm. dress. So, yeah. I need your, I mean, mentally for me, I need help with that because I have, have two weddings coming up and one, well, I went to one earlier in the spring and I want to rewear that dress, but I'm like, I, this, I'm like, dang, I already took pictures in this is one. It's the same dress. friend group too? yeah so like i'm i'm having to buy at least one i have a dress in my closet yeah. i'm not worn that i'm planning to wear for the next wedding but then there's another one i'm like i gotta buy a dress yeah and i don't want to i really don't want to but i'm like i gotta buy a dress you gotta either go back a couple, a couple years and pull back or even that, i got rid of a lot of stuff too i am good about that i will purge like it doesn't fit it's not flattering anymore whatever yeah let me give it away but uh, yeah I'm after, I've, I've seen some stuff on sale. I really do like ASOS for, for like my shape. It's not the material. They yeah. get, I, I, I find really good dresses and formal wear there for me. That's good. So, That's anyway. good. No, I'm also trying to keep my closet. Mommy going to be mad at me for this one. Sorry, Mommy. Oh. I'm trying to keep my closet primarily to my bedroom. Okay. Um, My mom. Mm-hmm is dressed mm -hmm. dressed and can shop yeah yeah and so before she moved to her new home <laughs> her previous um closets plural <laughs> mm -hmm. might have been four at one point i think we got okay. it down to three okay uh <laughs> but yeah yeah 
they were like, this is my summer closet, mm-hmm. and this is my winter closet, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this is my suit closet, mm-hmm. and this is my jogging suit closet. Yeah. Which I didn't know how many joggers you got to have a jogging suit closet, but you know, that's neither that's my business. That's none of your business. Until we had a mover. Then it was my business, Jesus. right? Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> I found myself, because I live by myself. Mm-hmm starting to spread out because like oh i can put this here yeah then i'm like wait 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 yeah yeah am i just moving it out of sight out of mind Mm -hmm. or am i really wearing it right you know yeah so i did move all my formal wear Mm -hmm. to a separate closet Mm -hmm. um but that's very it's that's very specific you know what i mean um but everything else has to either it has to fit in my actual room Mm -hmm. i will not let it spread and when i can't have no place for it that means something else gotta go okay because i'm not going to just take over an entire house with my clothes for somebody else to clean out when i dropped it That doesn't make no sense good so okay yeah good goals Mm -hmm. i'm with you there we can do this (laughs) i don't know what that i need to what it's random what happened it's it's your fur clean season. You know, your fur got to get clean in the summertime. So, I just totally forgot. You so, like, right now. Clean. You hear Because in the closet. And I'm like, ah. fur clean. Yes. <laughs> Who just randomly, I got to get my fur clean. <laughs> Me and your mama and you. That's true. That is true. <laughs> exactly. Fur cleaning season. Thank you. Yes. Shop your closet. Yes. Moral of the story. You have things in there. Wear them. I think about that with work too. Like, oh, I re wear stuff all the time. So, why is that no different when there's a function or something? Like, Girl. I can do that too. Yeah. Because work, I'm like, but yeah. Okay. To help myself wear my clothes mm-hmm. more, mm-hmm. I have, my coworkers are going to notice this, um, but I have themes. You do. Monday's blue, mm-hmm. Tuesday's black, Wednesday's dress day, Thursday's color, Friday jeans. Okay. I have a, Yes. A system. Mm-hmm. It's not too restrictive. Because, you know, yeah, but yeah. my base is going to be blue mm-hmm. on Monday. It is. My base is going to be black on mm-hmm. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, you know, dress wild card. And so. Yeah. And then I try to branch out with some color I don't normally wear what? on Thursday. Oh. Yeah. You have to do what works for you, yeah. too. What, what's easy is for you, too. Mm-hmm. But I like, you said, accessories. Just, there are different things you can do. It doesn't yeah. have to be blah. I even, I've looked up uh, videos on, like, how to style shirts. Even, like, like I love my white button-ups. I you do. try to, I refresh them every season. I, I buy a few of them, actually. I have maybe three of the same shirt. <laughs> but, because it's white. Um, but I've watched videos on how, different ways to, like, style it. Even, you could give it a one-shoulder situation. Like, yeah. So, those are ways to repurpose your clothing, depending on what you got going on. I agree. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> that was it. I almost said for the agenda. This is not a meeting. But <laughs> fine. Look, you let Faith go in charge for two minutes, and she was... Of the girl. Yeah. Okay. What are your goals for the, the month? June is here. Summer's on the way. It feels like summer here, but technically it's not summer. Really quickly, my nephew let me know that he has a big birthday coming up this month. Wow. Uh, (laughs) And I would keep trying to make him a summer baby. And he was like, I am not a summer baby. My birthday is technically still in the spring. And I was like, okay. (laughs) So, yeah. He has a big birthday coming. No. Yeah. So. That's what are your goals? My goals. I, do I have goals? <laughs> you ask people to go with your goals. I like your. I was kind of aligned with you there, but um, I'm why I don't necessarily always set new goals every month. I either try to improve on what I've been doing or um, make changes where needed. That's just I'm daily. Give me a boyfriend. I, I think I'm gonna give me a boyfriend for the summer. Y'all listening? Daddy, I think I am. Your uncles, daddies, stepdad, granddaddy. We're at that age. We could date all. Uh, <laughs> Touche. Mm-hmm. Touche. Oh, I am doing, I can say this. I signed up to do Orange Theory. Those of you who know, I go to Orange Theory. Um, they're doing their version of like 75 hard, but they're doing 30 soft, is what they're calling it. So it's 30 days, and it's their version of it. So okay. I have to do like 12 workouts. Um, the one for me is going to be screen time. So I will, that's a goal for me. I've already started that. Okay. Like setting up my features on my phone to like shut it down. If you're not a VIP, you can't get through. Yes, you're on the list. 
Uh, <laughs> I was like, you're on the list. You'll be called early. You be I can't be me. waiting. You be need me. So <laughs> you're on the list. But like, just to, so I am forced to put my phone down. But the one thing with that too, with that challenge, it's going to be the TV. And I'm used to turning something on to go to sleep. You know how we yeah. do. Well, I'm going to watch to go to sleep. sleep. <laughs> Big Bang Theory. <laughs> right. right. I'm going to go to sleep with Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> So there's like a 30 minutes before you go to bed, you no, no screen time of any kind. So TV actually is going to be the hardest part. I think I can do my phone. But the TV is going to be like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I, I bet you she really got me blocked because I'll be calling her early in the morning. <laughs> you just, I might be in the car. Car is different. Car is like focus. Okay. Nobody can get. You got to call twice. <laughs> I got to call twice? Yeah. To get through if it's early. I've been doing better. I've been calling it after seven. You have been. This has been. I've been putting my face on. Anyways, <laughs> that my goal is. That's one of my goals. Really, the screen time portion of the challenge okay. at the gym. That's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. Yay! Follow us on our individual socials. Yes, and follow us, of course, on Go Ladies. We're on YouTube. You know, you want to see us. We fine and funny and smart. Keep going. Anyway, <laughs> and we're on all the platforms where you listen to podcasts. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend. We can all be friends. Help me find a boyfriend. You heard, Nasa, boyfriend for the summer. Get to work. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.